y'all know this is definitely not the right song for this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Joey here again with yet another video. And this is definitely not a wig review video. I decided to do a story time with you guys. I know that I'm always talking about wigs, makeup, and stuff, but... I just decided to just have fun this time and kind of just share with you guys a little bit of me and a little bit of crazy experiences that I've been through in life. Um, so I definitely did a poll on Instagram a few days ago and I did ask you guys, would you rather see the story of when I got arrested in seventh grade or the story on when, when I caught my ex cheating on Google? So you guys most of you guys voted for the google story so i decided to do that one first but i started getting dms telling me that both stories sound interesting so i will be doing the other story next week but let's get into this story so the first thing i'm gonna tell y'all about is the backstory of this story because of course i can't just tell y'all what happened and not tell y'all the history behind this story so um First of all, my ex and I were together for like a year and a half. I was uh, I was like a junior going into senior in high school. Um, and we didn't go to the same school. He went to a whole different school, whatever. But he was like my little high school sweetheart or whatever because people knew we was together and stuff. People used to see us together all the time. And he was pretty popular. Um, he played ball and stuff, so a lot of people knew him, and a lot of girls wanted to date him too, cause he was like really cute. Like him and his brother were really cute, so a lot of people wanted to date him. So when I see him, of course, I had a crush on him. And you know, when you're younger, you're a little bit more shallow. You don't really think about values and relationships. You don't really think about what you deserve, you know? So I just wasn't that type of person at the time. I wasn't really the type of person to investigate anything. So the fact that I found out through Google that he was cheating on me, I have a perfect explanation for this. And this is why I called this segment, Let Me Explain, just like the Kevin Hart um, special because I need to explain this to you guys because I know it sounds crazy, but I will explain to you guys later down the story. But anyways, um, you know, there was definitely a lot of red flags in this relationship, but I just never, I didn't see them because I was being a pendeja, you know, I wasn't, and if you guys don't know what a pendeja means, that just means like a punk, like a pushover, um, you know, like stupid, you know, like that's what it means in Spanish. Like I wasn't, I was just being dumb, you know, like I just got caught up in liking him and thinking, oh, he's so cute and he's my boyfriend and I want to show him off that I, you know, I didn't think the value of a relationship and he was very charming too. So that was just really hard for me. But anyways, um, first of all, there was one red flag that was major. And this one was one time I went to his house, um, on a half day and I showed up, I did, I did call him, but he wasn't home. But we had agreed to see each other. So I showed up to the house anyways. And when I showed up, the door was kind of open. It wasn't all the way open, but it was kind of open. And when I went in, there was a girl on his bed. And the girl had his clothes on. But his brother and him had claimed that that was a family friend or a cousin or whatever. So that was the first red flag. I should have questioned that but I didn't because I thought okay you know maybe it's true like maybe that's what it is second was people were telling me already about him but I didn't want to listen because of course like for one to this day like I'm not the type of person to really listen to what people say unless you're somebody that I really really trust and stuff and even that like I really have to know the facts before jumping into conclusions or whatever but i just you know i wasn't thinking i, I wasn't really thinking about that type of stuff i just i was just like you know what y'all just hating or whatever so i left that alone so boom let me get to the day when it all went down so first of all the night before that i was up late and i was on my computer and 
these were MySpace days. So, you know, if you had MySpace, you were sitting there for hours trying to fix your page, you know, trying to hook it up and make it look nice, trying to have the right music on it. And um, I was on it. So I go on Google and his page was not private. So I thought to myself, okay, he played ball and stuff. So his stats and all of that stuff is gonna be online like so i go on google and i search his name so when i search his name his basketball stats they come up and whatever and i'm looking at them and i'm like oh yeah you know he did good in this and he did good in that and whatever but i didn't really look at the other results that google was giving me i just looked at that real quick and then i went to bed so the next day i'm home by myself and this was in the summertime like this was this was near, this was the summertime, this was my, this was me going into my senior year of high school. So I was about 17. So I'm on Google again and I search his name. So when I search his name, because something just told me, and I think this is when my women's intuition started kicking in, in relationships, like something just told me like, go back to that name so i google the name uh, his name whatever and i see a link for myspace and it's for a blog now before i click the link you know before you click a link on google there's like a little pre i guess like a little preview of what you're about to read or whatever so i see baby this baby that whatever and i see his name and a g another girl's name so i'm like hold 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 up so I click the link, whatever, and I start reading. I start reading the the uh, the comment that he put, and it's a video of a girl singing, and the girl singing her ass off, like she's doing her thing, whatever. She's singing, and um, he's just saying how proud he is of her, and he's just saying all these things about her. And the comment was not that old, mind you. We were together for a year and a half. This was like like a few months back so I'm just like okay now I need to know who this is so I click her page and we're from New York so this girl's from Pennsylvania and I'm like oh so this is what you've been doing in Pennsylvania first of all that that was that family my ass in Pennsylvania there so that was one two um I start seeing pictures of both of them together and clearly he was with her before he was with me so i'm sitting there like so am i the am i the side chick like what is this or do you have two girlfriends like what's what, what's going on because we don't have knowledge of each other so as soon as i seen all of this i went off on him and i wrote him a whole essay <laughs> about himself I, I just said a whole bunch of stuff um i didn't message the girl i didn't contact her or none of that because i just never been the type of person to do something like that i've only done that one time where i messaged the girl and the only reason why i did that is because for one i felt like i had all right and two i just it just really was something that was already upsetting me for a long time and i just wanted to to address the issue before it got out of hand so um that was the only time i ever did something like that but i had never ever done anything like that and i wasn't that wasn't gonna be the start of it so i didn't tell her nothing and um he tried to like after that we had broke up but we kept talking we kept talking or whatever we kept in contact and we kept talking and i started thinking i didn't want to fully get back into the relationship with him because after that i felt like the trust was broken but i kept you know talking to him and stuff and then i later found out that he made somebody else his girlfriend and that girl was the one that ended up exposing him to the um the girl in pennsylvania so that was that that's how i found out through google i know it sounded crazy i know it, it, it the title sounded crazy but it's just crazy what you find on google like sometimes especially if you don't keep your stuff private like you can find people's information like so much you can find people's address you can find felonies like you can find so much shit on um on google and people just don't understand that like sometimes what you put out there like you got to be careful because you can find just about anything out there so that was that 
um but yeah that was the story let me know what you guys think in the comments below let me know if you've been through a similar experience um make sure that you guys follow me on instagram at Peralta knows best and make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos if you haven't done so i will be having that other story coming next week so make sure that you guys also check that out i will see you guys soon bye